Yeah. Well, from now through June 2nd, the Buffalo Art Studio will have on display Tales from the Porch Extensions featuring focused creatives. The project has gone through several phases and with this recent one, it's focusing on up and coming artists. And here to talk more about what's happening is Atina Farid Cook, the project's creator and Stephen Foreman Jr., one of the artists as well. Thanks so much for being here. We Thank so you. appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Atina, let me start with you and just kind of help people understand what this project is all about. Yes, so Tales from the Porch is all about amplifying the voices from within the community and uh, it started off in 2019 through just curiosity wanting to go through the neighborhoods to just capture stories and break down stereotypes and then it just maturated into where we are now where we're allowing for the next generation of creatives to tell their own porch stories and share those within the space of um, Buffalo Art Studio. And so Stephen you're one of the people telling those stories correct? Am, tell me how um, how did it strike you and what story did you want to tell? Yeah so honestly it just struck me with awe like you know just being able to look at something common you know like just a building structure such as the porch but we all interact with like you know at some point in time in our lives you know and just being able to act, interact with that and come with like an artistic flair to it I thought it was really cool and so um, the story I wanted to tell, or at least like, you know, my perspective in which I wanted to tell from my porch was just some frustrations I see like affecting uh, black people around the nation, like uh, within the communities and everything like that, and how like greed affects, you know, our communities and everything like that. So that's, that's what I wanted to tell. When you're painting kind of this whole picture together with all these artists coming together, what is the message that you hope people take away and, and learn from this? that we're all human at mm -hmm. the end of the day and that you know um, we all are shaped and formed and come from one space you know and we have these different perspectives uh, based off of the experiences that we've encountered growing up or what have you and we're um, our stories are important and it, they need to be shared and so once you start to share stories and amplify those stories and rub shoulders against each other you start to discover that the fact is we're human we're all shaped from one mm -hmm. you know so that was the that's the hope and then being able to have like I said the next generation to be able to tell their own stories to be able to uplift and just to encourage the community or just kind of sh share another idea if you will so it's it's been great to be able to to do that. Has it been kind of cool to see it build throughout the time that you've been doing it as well yeah. and sort of how people have interpret, interpreted yeah. it? Yeah, I would have never thought that it would it have gone this far. <laughs> it started off with, seriously, it started off with a curiosity. I just wanted to um, break down stereotypes. People say things about the east side of Buffalo. People say things about the south side. Mm -hmm. I wanted to personally go into these sides of the um, city and ask the people, like how do you feel about your neighborhood? What are people saying about your neighborhood? It went from that to um, capturing stories of leaders within the community who have been doing amazing work despite the pandemic, despite the tragedy that occurred last year. Mm -hmm. And um, then it's all about, Get Focus Productions is all about leading to sharing this platform to um, just give back to the next generation of creatives. And so with like Creatives Rebuild New York, um, they funded this uh, opportunity and I was able to partner and work alongside with Buffalo Art Studio through the artist you know, employment program to make this thing happen. Mm -hmm. So um, just being able to have those opportunities in place to make something kind of grow and maturate over time is really dope. And you're sharing it with the community. How can people see the work that you've done? Yeah, absolutely. So it is on display until June 2nd at Buffalo Art Studio. So you can go and check it out right now. Um, but we are also having a time where we sit down and discuss the all of the work, this is hard work that these students have put in and they get to share the mediums that they use, they get to share their hearts behind it and that's going to happen on Sunday, May 21st uh, at 2 o'clock at the Birchfield Penny. And so they'll be able to go into detail, we'll have a panel discussion and a performance. Uh, just quickly, kind of from both of you, is there anything that going through this surprised you? You you went in with kind of a certain idea of what you wanted to accomplish. Were there any surprises along the way? I'm going to throw it to you. Yeah, I, honestly, I was thinking about having three pieces in my gallery show, or three, you know, uh, canvas pieces, and I fell through. I, I had like just the two done, you know, and, and I got that barely in the nick of time. There's still like some fresh paint on there that <laughs> you may want to watch out if you brush up against. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I still got it done. Um, 
and I have a third piece there technically, but it's more like a little sketchbook showing the process, which I was like super um, surprised to see like how it came out. Like just having ideas like that I had years ago coming to fruition through this this uh, show has just been phenomenal. It's, just, it's been really cool. So I knew from the beginning that all of them <laughs> would do great. Right. Um, nothing surprised me in a sense, but um, I'm I'm just overjoyed to see how much they've grown since the first day I sat with them mm -hmm. to tell them about this. And um, one thing I wanted to say is that each of the artists not only were able to display their work, but they were also able to earn opportunities to gain income during this process, which I feel is very important mm -hmm. to the process of understanding how you can live off this art. You know, that's incredible. Atina, Stephen, thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. We got more to come here on Most Buffalo.